here we go. Great start out of lane number three. Mabel Zavaros quick to the wall. And, and water. We talk a lot about the butterflyers in the last. We just had the feeling he was being rusted for back to back, but he'll get the full rest tonight. Welcome back. It's not very often I'm wearing a BCHL jersey for a news video, is it? So, uh, news before I turn in for the evening. Uh, tomorrow there's just three games on. I think the earliest one's on at 5 o'clock. And in lane four, Summer McIntosh, the first person ever, male or female, to hold the long horse world records in both the 400 freestyle and the 400 IM. Now on top of that, you... A power play opportunity that they missed. Here's another really good chance coming in, and a penalty coming as Morgan Barron made a bull rush for goal and was pulled down. It'll be a penalty shot after. And here she goes. She looks strong, though. She's got 10 meters left to go. McIntosh looking to improve on her personal best. It is a 154-13 and 153. Final. There's truly anybody's game. We know that the names like Penny, Alexiak, and Taylor Ruck are not here competing, and those have been two names on that national team relay for quite some time. Another name, Kyla Sand. So, if they are in this predicament, can we not say that Brandon, Kyle, have no one to blame but themselves? Here's my thought on that, though, Kim. You've got to be able to match their urgency, uh, certainly their energy, because you know Winnipeg's going to bring everything. Yes, well, you know, I just mentioned the Washington Capitals a couple of seconds ago, and I, I don't know if you got the same sense that I did watching that Rangers game and watching everyone chase Barkley Goodrow around the ice and Ovechkin is livid. And you know, 